What's going on, Kaijus? It's your boy Goji from Gojiras here, and today we are opening a box of War of the Spark, thanks to my good friend, my partner in crime, Eric. Say hi to the Kaijus for me, please. Please, I need to get the cloud. Hi, Kaijus. Alright, so he bought a box from our local game store. Shout out to Florida Wind Gaming. And here is his special buy a box promo. Ooh, so shiny. It's Tezzeret, Master of the Bridge, four, a blue and a black. Creature and Planeswalker spells you cast have affinity for artifacts. Now, Eric, you know more about affinity for artifacts than I do. The hell does this mean? <laughs> Uh, since it isn't explained, affinity for artifacts basically means for every artifact you control, creatures and planeswalker spells, you cast costs one colorless mana less. All right. And Tezzeret's plus two is Tezzeret, Master of the Bridge, deals X damage to each opponent, where X is the number of artifacts you control, you gain X life. And then the minus threes return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. The minus eight, the ultimate is exile the top 10 cards of your library, put all artifact cards from among them onto the battlefield. So he's a pretty powerful walker, he looks pretty good, but that's not what you were here for, that's not what you clicked on the video for. If you did, if you're not, then what the hell are you doing? So we're gonna get cracking into this box. War of the Spark is nigh. And we're gonna go ahead and get the X for good luck. X marks the spot. Let's see what we can get into here today. All right. More of a spark. Planeswalker in every pack, as per Wizards of the Coast. Stack's gonna fall over. Let's split the difference. Yeah. All right. Got Tezzeret right here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into some Kraken. War of the Spark. If I can open a booster pack. Alright. As you see, we're just gonna flip through the commons here. Get to the goodies. Alright. Get the trash out of the way. Dread Malkin, Bond of Revival, Angrath, Captain of Chaos. Ooh, Planeswalker there. I'm gonna separate the Planeswalkers. And Vivian Arcbow is our rare. And Dovin's Veto as our foil. Very nice, very nice. Put the lamp up there, token there. Let's put the rares over here. Get the foils up there. The lands. Commons. I was gonna put the planeswalkers right here as well. Alright. Get the fuck back there. Alright. So War of the Spark, what are your guys' opinions? Stuff looks interesting, looks very interesting. Proliferates back. That's something. Alrighty. Get the commons out of the way. A Johnny's Pride Mate, Mayhem Devil. Ooh, Mowu, Loyal Companion, has an uncommon. And Karn, the Great Creator, is our rare Planeswalker. Sitting around nine bucks right now. I'm expecting that to go up in value. Hell yeah, Karn. Eric, you feeling excited about that shit? Karn? Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, these are all Eric's cards. Eric bought this pack of magic. This booster box is going to be some craziness. War of the Spark. I have no idea what to expect from this set. And we got D Spark, Neo Form, Devouring Hellion, and Teferi Time Raveler. Oh, damn, slap me in the ball sack. We got him. Shout out to Bad Boy Gaming there. Ah, oh, Teferi Time Reveler. Man, this has been nothing but hits so far. And we haven't even gotten a Mythic yet. All right. Hell yes. Karn and Teferi. You can't ask for a better box, Eric. You can't ask for a better box. But I'm gonna. But you're gonna. <laughs> That's the, I'm gonna ask to open a better pack of magic. Oh, my God. All right. Shift through, sift through these commons. We got Ugin's Conjurant, Price of Betrayal. Ooh, and uh, Kiora. Kiora right here is a, is a planeswalker. And Feather the Redeemed, probably the best Boros commander. Boom. Feather the Redeemed. 
I think that's just speculations on that. What do you think? Think Feather's gonna be in some nifty Boros decks in Commander? Gonna be some interesting stuff here. All right, all right. Okay. So Johnny's Pride Mate, Liliana's Triumph, nice Bond of Flourishing, and Chandra Fire Artisan. You are just getting all the rare Planeswalkers, it seems. My goodness, my goodness. All right. Thank you, Bob. Okay, there's no sign of stopping here. I'm gonna just keep on trucking through. All right. Oh, everything's a mess. Goji, what is you doing? Storm the Citadel, Sunblade Angel, Devouring Hellion, and Tamio. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Woo! Oh! Holy shit! So, Tamio. Collector of the t and Foil Teferi! Our Foil Rare is a Foil Teferi Time Reveler! Oh my god! Raveler, I can't even speak straight! Oh my god! Uh, that's it! I don't think we need to even continue, but we're gonna! We have so much of the box left! Oh my god! This is craziness. This is. Did Wizards of the Coast rid this box? Am I finally getting good content on this channel? What the hell? Alright. Let's calm down for the craziness. Rawls Outburst. Flux Channeler. Good Uncommon. Uh, Nahiri. Storm of, Storm of the Stone. Nice Uncommon. And Roll Reversal. This is an interesting, funny little card. Exchange control of two target permanents that share a permanent type. That's some funny stuff. Some funny stuff. Funny stuff. Where are my rares? Got so many planeswalkers, I thought that was like a planeswalker pile or something. My god. Tamio. Two Teferis. Oh my god, the craziness just doesn't stop. Alright. Eternal Skylord. Rescuer Sphinx. Interplanar Beacon. And Domri Anarcho Bolas. Is another rare planeswalker we got here. Oh my god, it just doesn't stop. And a snare spear of a uh, common foil. I don't want to mask the Tefiri. That belongs in a pile all on its own. It's a nice little shining, shining spot right there. And Tefiri's looking at us. He knows. He knows what he did. He knows. And we haven't even seen any mythics yet. No, no mythics. But you're getting all good rares. My god. Sifting through the uh, the commons, all right. We're good here. We can organize this pile a little bit better. I think might split that in half. Prison Realm, Lazatep Plating, and Zhang Yanggu, a uh, Wild Crafter. Is that what it said? Yeah, Wild Crafter. Nice. Uh, what, were the, what was that set called? The uh, the Chinese dual deck. Yeah, the Chinese Planeswalker decks. Whatever. Uh, someone's gonna correct me in the comments. And Dread Horde Butcher is our rare. Black and red, 1-1 one, one haste, deals combat damage to a player or a planeswalker, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and whenever it dials, it deals damage equal to the number of count, or equal to its power to any target, not to how much uh, counters it has on it. Alrighty, opening up the pack. Sorry if my, the packs are getting out of frame, I'm a blind boy. Oh, I just can't see it, can't read. I want to read all these good cards. Okay, also gotta see if the set symbol's right. Bond of Passion, Dovin's Veto, Samet. You're getting all different Planeswalkers. Oh my god! First Mythic. The first Mythic, and it's a good one. And it's a fucking smasher. Look at this! The boar has come out to play. Oh my god! That's so good! Oh. That's gotta be one of the best Mythics of the set. If that doesn't Increase in value somehow. I don't know what's going on. The pure shenanigans. The shenanigans! Foil to Fairy. One of the best mythics in the set. So many different planeswalkers. Oh my god. <laughs> my mom's probably gonna yell at me for how excited I am, but oh my god! I'm sorry, Mama. <laughs> when it comes to Magic the Gathering, I just I can't contain my excitement. Chandra's Triumph, Rebel Belt Road, uh, Rioters. God, I can't see. 
uh, Bond of Insight, and for the rare is Sarkin the Masterless. You're getting all of the Planeswalkers. What? All of the rares have just been Planeswalkers. It's... Really? Like, you think you got... That like, is the theme of this set. I, I mean, yeah. 36 of them. There, there are, but there's not that many rare ones. And you're getting all of them. Seems like it. All right. Let's see. Bond of Discipline, Pledge of Unity, Emergent Zone, and Rawl... Storm Conduit, another Planeswalker. Another rare Planeswalker. And Goblin Assailant, Foil. Very nice. Nice mountain. The artwork in this set, might I add, is so beautiful. Uh, what is it? Like, Commence the Endgame, Noah Bradley. That's really beautiful. Um, there's another one. and it, like, It's got some old magic feel. To it, I can't remember the card name. Maybe we'll see it. Evolution Deliver Sage. To evil. Yes, yes. Let's see if we got it. Evolution Sage. I'm so excited. I can't talk. Tenth District Legionnaire. Uncommons. Where did you go? There you go. And Teo the Shield Mage. Uncommon Planeswalker. And Widespread Brutality. Rare Sorcery amassed two. And, the, and then the army you amass deals damage equal to its power to each non-army creature. Well, that's interesting. A little interesting rare. I like how I did that as if it was foil. I'm an idiot. It's alright. It's alright. It's magic. We have so many packs left to go. We got one mythic. A foil to fairy. Let's keep going. So many planeswalkers. So little time. Alright. Merfolk's Guide Offer. Challenger Troll. And Jaya, Jaya? Is that how you say it? I say Jaya. Jaya, Venerated Fire Mage, and Ignite the Beacon. Rare. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Why did I put that there? It goes there. Alright. Liliana, I have a feeling you're in here. We meet all, we met like most of your Gatewatch friends. If I can see, she's playing hard to get. Playing hard to get. I know she's in here. She's literally on, likes to play hard to get. We've seen Ultimate Masters box openings. Paradise Druid, that's a nice uncommon. Dovin's veto. Dovin! And his veto showed up today. And Living Twister, I was wrong. Maybe it's a foil, Lily? Ah, oh, damn. Uh, it's alright. Dovin, Living Twister. Yeah. It's alright. That's I don't think it's gonna see any play. Outside of Limited, I don't think it's gonna see any play. I'm not seeing it. Is anyone else get his kind of euphoria from hearing magic packs being opened? Does anyone else? It kind of rubs me the right way. If you, if you know. Chandra's Triumph, uh, Great Flap Apparition, Angrath's Rampage, Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Say, I'm just the Gatewatch has come up to play, man. The Gatewatch has come up to play. Where are you at, Lillian Gideon? Where are you at, Ugin? Nico Bolas, where you at? Good old Eugene. Eugene. Alrighty. We got your statue, Mr. God Pharaoh. Gideon's Triumph. Arlen, voice of the pack. Deliver onto evil. Yes. Don't know how it's going to play. I don't know if it's a good rare or not. Choose up to four target cards in your graveyard if you control Bolas Planeswalker. Return those cards to your hand. Otherwise, an, oppo an opponent chooses two of them. Leaves the chosen cards in your graveyard and put the rest onto your hand. Exile deliver onto evil. I'm seeing some shenanigans with that card. I feel like there's gonna be some shenanigans, maybe an EDH. Maybe some Volasi stuff. Who knows? Alrighty. A little bit. A little bit of a wrap. Could we get all 36 planeswalkers? Is it possible? We haven't gotten any duplicates yet. Oh, you know, I think it's, I doubt it's possible that there's 36 packs and some of them didn't have a plan fucker. Maybe? We'll find out. Uh, Tabalt's Rager, Eternal Taskmaster, Kiora, again, there's a, there's a duplicate. Never mind, ladies and gentlemen, never mind. And flip the, the lost! Flip the, can't change my mind, that's how you say it. Flip the, 
back from Totally Lost. Totally Lost is in this set too. We probably already seen it. Comment, comment, comment. Comment, 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 comment. Chameleon. And Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. Nice. Another rare Planeswalker. If this is what you wanted from the set, I mean, here you have it. But I think you already... That foil to fairy already basically pays for that box. Almost. It's it's gonna, eventually. I feel it. Death Sprout, Eternal Taskmaster, Davriel. Nice. And Time Wipe! Woo! Time Wipe, that's a good rare. I like that rare. That's is good. that a misprinted Davriel? No, that's, uh, that is actually how the card art looks. Uh, that is his, cool. His black magic's leaking onto his own name. That is like how cool. I'm leaking my pants over this box. Oh my god. Oh my god. More than halfway through the box now. One mythic. And that's a good one. I haven't seen any finales. That troubles me a little bit. Worrisome. Rayland Prowler, Challenger Troll, Huatli, The Sun's Heart, and Enter the God Eternals. Yes, folks, the God Eternals are back. The, uh, the Amonkhet Gods are back. Let me put the comments in the right place. Oh, yeah. The, the lands are getting out of control here. The region to the rares. Alrighty. Alright. Augur of Bullis, Invade the City, The Wanderer. Ooh, that's very nice. And, ooh, our second mythic. There it is. That's it. That's it. I don't see where this is gonna go. Maybe it's maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Uh, Flying Trample, 4-5. Human Mutant for 2, 2 green and a blue. Interesting casting cost. And whenever it enters the battlefield, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on another target creature you control. And when Rolesk dies, proliferate, then proliferate again. Ooh, Atraxa EDH players are going to like that card. Proliferate twice off of its dying trigger. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Huatli's Raptor, Firemind Vessel, Sahili, there she is. I was wondering where she'd be at. And Dread Horde Invasion. Not too bad. It's an enchantment. Beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life and amass one. So that's interesting. Interesting little card there. Ooh, my little footsies is getting in the way. I'm getting too excited. I'm knocking over shit. I mean, uh, family friendly channel. Family friendly channel. Uh, totally uh, haven't been cussing throughout this whole video. It's cool. Uh, the kids like it, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, Vraska, Swarm, uh, Swarm Eminence, and Naheb Dread Horde Champion. A rare, not a mythic. That's all right. Pretty good rare. All right, still got a little bit of packs to go. I know I'm a slow one. This is the first box opening of all time. It's a lot of work, man. Gotta have respect for all your favorite MTG YouTubers, you know, who are opening packs on the daily. It's a lot of work. Obnixilis, The Fate Twisted, and Niv Mizzet Reborn. That's nice. I like that. Niv Mizzet. What happened? He died. He died, but he's reborn. He's gonna. Kick some ass on the Ravnica plane. God. I know, first world problems, man. My wrists hurt. God. It's from the, from the weight of all this good value. All right. Cyclops Electromancer, uh, Elite Guild Mage, Kaya. There she is. And Ravnica at War. Three and a white for exile, all multicolored permanent. Interesting little board wipe there. Only the multicolored variety. Okay. Alright. I'm 
Collins. Mayhem Devil, Heartwarming Redemption, Arlen, Voice of, of the Pack. Yeah. And Soul Diviner. And this is an interesting little card. I, for one, think it's going to increase in value. Maybe it won't. Maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe I'm wrong. Soul Diviner, one blue and one black. For a zombie wizard, you tap it, remove a counter from an artifact, creature, land, or planeswalker you control, and draw a card. I'm going to see that being played in a lot of Demir decks. Maybe some Demir proliferate. Or oh, maybe even Soul Tide. We'll find out. We'll see. Might be a new archetype. Let's see. Okay. Paradise Druid, Nisa's Triumph, Tibble, best planeswalker in the set. Fight me. Uh, Vivian's Arc Bow, duplicate rare. We're starting and to wind down. Starting to wind down on the good pulls. But we got Tibble, best planeswalker in the set. That is correct. That's correct. What is he? Nine hundred dollars now? Nine hundred? Thousand? You might as well sell him and buy yourself He's, another. He is just priceless. He's priceless. Some might even say worthless. He's worth too much. Ogan, the ineffable! You can't F with Ogan! Because he's ineffable. Don't F with him. Ah, your face! We're missing, what, three other planeswalkers? That's on the top of my head? No, four. I know we're missing Soren. We're missing Gideon, Liliana, and Nico Bolas. Those are on the top of my head. Those are the only ones I think we're missing. Oh, and Nissa, who shakes the world. And Ashiok. Got me there. Dahmer's Ambush. Rally of the Wings. Huatli again. Got Commence the Endgame. Ooh, and a Foil Mountain. Ooh. Yeah, Commence the Endgame. Here's a card I was talking about earlier. This spell can't be countered. Yeah, like Blue Ever needed that. Okay, cool. For an instant, draw two cards, then a Mass X... Where X is the number of cards in your hand. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of like it. It's interesting. That's our first foil in a while, too. That's interesting. Two mythics. I think I put that mythic in the rare pile, but that's okay. People are just screaming at me in the comments right now, too. Angrath's Rampage, Emergent Zone. Who is that? Why have I never heard of you? Who are you? Kazmina and Mag Enigmatic Mentor? Who the? And Spark Double! This is only going to go up in value, ladies and gentlemen. Spark Double is so unique, so interesting. And it's blue. So you expect copies of Tefiri everywhere. Um. And you thought you were going to get rid of Tefiri with all this and this, all these Planeswalkers in the set. There must be a lot of Planeswalker removal. Not a chance! Spark Double is going to create another Tefiri and you're going to get your butthole tickled. Alright, Death Sprout, Grateful Apparition, Angrath again, and Solar Blaze rare. Alright, we're down to the last four packs. Of the box, pretty good box so far, might I add. That that foil to fairy is really pulling it in there. And after that, after that beginning of the box, I mean, everything's just kind of winding down after that. Uh, Zhang Yongu, the Wild Crafter, and another time wipe. Oh my God! Did we just go back in time? Did we just go back in time and get another time wipe. Two time wipes, two to fairies. You got it all. All right. Cruel celebrant. Uh, Mowu, daddy. Um, Jaya, venerated fire mage. Cranko, street kingpin. Cool new Cranko. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And Lazatep plating foil. Not too bad. All right, last two packs. Hopefully we can get that fourth mythic. Third mythic. I think we've only gotten two, haven't we? Just the uh Boar God, Niv Mizzet, and no, Mib Nib Mizzet's Nib Mizzet's rare. What? Yeah. That's not a mythic. Oh, geez. 
Let's hopefully get to that third mythic in this pack and or in the next one. Is your chance trying to find a fireman's vessel? Gideon Blackblade! There it is! There we go. There it is. He was holding out on us the whole time, the Gideon. Gatewatch is assembled. Gatewatch is... We don't even need Liliana, do we? Or a Johnny, I guess. Fuck, fuck them. You know? Yeah, fuck them. Last pack. There we go. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. Eternal Skylord. Eternal Taskmaster. Nahiri. Here it is. God, Eternal Ronus. Another mythic in the close. The mythics were holding out on us. What a box! Oh my god! Here, let me let me go back through here. Oh my god! There's the mythic. Teferi's a rare. Karn's a rare. Time wipe. You can't F with Ugin. There's the other. Rare mythic. I don't know what happened to the myth miss at the fire mine. That's okay! Oh my god! I can't get over this. This is. Oh my god. This is something else right here. This is the money shot. Thank you, Kaijus, for watching. If you liked the video, why not go ahead and press the like button? You're already down there anyway, telling me how stupid I am. So you might as well go ahead and let, hit the like button out of pity. Also, if you like this content for some reason, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'll be waiting, because I am desperate. That's all I have for you, Kaijus, and good night.